tax register. Um, so none of my money is actually going to be going anywhere here. Um, but I do that because I understand what you guys like to do with it. Um, and that's take it away from people who need it and give it to people who already have it. Uh, Carl Palladino is well known to be an unscrupulous businessman, politician, and just, I would like to say, just an overall, just a horrible human being in all of his actions. And uh, I think it's evident in the policies of this body that it doesn't even need to exist. There doesn't need to be a board because you guys don't do anything. So they can just approve every single project that's presented because there's no research done, there's no accountability done, there is no need to have this room, this building, or these meetings. There should just be a list of how much money can be given away and then a list of people who apply for it. And at some point in time, it should run out. Um, obviously, for you guys, it probably would be better off for you because of the incentive you have to continue giving out money, um, that it would never run out. But this project is, is an absolute joke. Carl Palladino is jealous of Mark Croce and the treatment that he got for the Statler in getting about $9 million in incentives and abatements to refurbish a building that he purchased for nearly nothing, uh, which seems to be a policy in Buffalo, is to give old, dilapidated buildings to developers for virtually free and then give them all the money and resources that they need to make them extremely profitable for themselves. And yes, that does create more tax dollars for us. But what would create more tax dollars? Giving Carl Palladino or Mark Croce all the money they need to redevelop a building that any of us could with those resources? Or giving that money to small business owners? There's small businesses that are closing every single day. And they are working on things that do need that little bit of help to keep them alive. And that should be the purpose of the Industrial Development Agency, is keeping the balance of our economy in whack. And you're doing the exact opposite. You're putting it out of whack. And I don't want to talk about specifically just Carl Palladino and Mark Croce, but the people that we don't see, the businesses that you have made much more profitable and given advantages over smaller businesses, and you don't see that destruction, number one, because you don't do any research on the profitability side of the original project, and I don't see any general research done or presentations done about the overall economic status of Erie County and of the different municipalities that there are IDAs in. There's never a presentation that says, hey, here's the overall picture of how we're doing in this area. Here's are the places that we should focus on. Here are the projects we should focus on. Here are the areas that need improvement. It's all just some rich guy asked us for money, and we need to figure out a way to make people think this is actually going to help them. And people are not going to continue to believe this. So I don't know well, what you guys are going to start doing with your Monday morning is at 9 o'clock. Um, but they're going to get a lot more difficult and a lot more interesting. So personally, if I were you, I wouldn't want to be a part of this body anymore. Um, because it is going to be the most heavily scrutinized body in western New York until these policies begin to change. And until you start making some sort of, I don't know, like the Bud C or some sort of other body that is strictly geared to help small businesses. Because obviously there isn't a lot of industry coming in Buffalo and you've decided to just give your money to whoever you feel like giving it to. So my personal suggestion should be some way that small businesses that are going under can apply for low interest loans to keep them alive to retain jobs. That's something you guys talk about a lot. But I don't see any numbers to prove that this body has retained any jobs. And in fact, I've seen numbers that have stated that it has actually lost jobs and statewide it cost this state $8 billion in tax dollar money. But Buffalo schools are going to lose $9 million in funding. And people are going to start having to pay a dollar more for their day passes and $13 more for their monthly passes to get to work. So congratulations on doing a horrible job in industrial development. I know this is going to pass anyway. You guys are hopefully going to have to make their board read all of our statements. But I know they don't care, and I know it's going to move through anyway. I just want to be on the record as saying this is the worst idea ever, and this body is the worst representation of economic development in Erie County.